All right, everybody, welcome. We're doing a new one today. We're doing red pets only, which is going to be like majority red. It is basically just these two left columns over here. So all of these and all of those. Um, there are some other pets that have some red on them, but Woodpecker is not one of the ones allowed. This is just in the pack because it helps with Salamander. But yeah, when you had your turn, please only have these pets. All food is allowed. Anything goes in the shop phase. You are allowed a sloth, uh, etc. <laughs> you guys know by now. And let's make sure that I'm actually getting some stuff down. And there we go. Okay. So I got two Tsuchinokos. And we have the Moody Fellas. Let's do this. Oh. Yeah, that's just destruction. Okay. I know my biggest one is always going to be at the back because it jumps first and then gets replaced by this one. But it'd be nice if I had this at the front. Um, I'm going to keep investing here because I think having one massive thing is going to be a lot stronger than... Some other things I could do. And I'm really hoping I roll into another apple or thing I can play. And yeah, there we go. Alright. <laughs> One massive Tsuchinoko. I can even level it next turn if I wanted. Um, there's also Salamander. Now, I don't know. I really don't know what the end game team is going to be. Because like, there's a lot of good scalers in this pack. And obviously the abilities at the end are pretty nice. But I don't know how easy it's going to be to swap stuff in. And just to be clear, if you have a Wendigo, or whatever it's called, Deer Lord, you can throw stuff in front of it, then like end your turn because it will kill it before the fight. Like, that's fine. And I've lost. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. As long as you go into the fights without um, any non-red pets, then that's all that matters. Now, do I combine and try and get early Deer Lord? Because getting anything else wouldn't be that helpful. I can maybe pull up Bed Fish if I find that. Or Boris is cool, though. Let's just try it. We found a deer lord, yay! <laughs> Alright, end turn, knock out the nearest friend ahead and stock one free bacon. So I can just buy random things to feed that. I don't think I have many... Yeah, I don't know if there's anything like worth buying yet. There are some faint pets that are useful, like, you know, flamingo, blobfish, turtle, this guy. There's a few. Don't know where to freeze the ladybug or not, bird. Yeah, end turn, I'm just gonna buy a random thing, let it eat that. And maybe freeze a cherry. Alright. There we go. This might be my, like, second ever Deer Lord. <laughs> I've almost never used these. Deer Lord and Salamander Octopus. Wait, Salamander Lollipop could be good. Yeah, I only remembered to put in Lollipop, like, right at the end. <laughs> Literally minutes before the lobby started. It's a draw. That's all I can ask for. Brain Game Perk, give it this. I mean, I can, like, buy both of these and then both of these, and that's not that bad, but then I don't feed the Deer Lord anything. I don't know whether I roll hard to try and find a flamingo. That's kind of the only thing I can feed this that like, makes any sense. Uh, I think I'm just going to do this. Yeah, I'm going to bacon you up. I don't want the cherry. You know what? Yeah, just buy these. Roll once. Find some other thing to feed this. And there's a salamander. Okay, feed it the bats. I think we definitely free salamander. I don't think we're going to push the Tsuchinoko any further. We could get it to level 3 in the fight by giving it another one of these, but I don't think it makes any sense. Friend board, if it's start a battle game plus two attack, what's one time per turn? I don't know if I want to do that. We can maybe go for starfish instead. Ah. I don't know, it feels weird. <laughs> okay. I'll freeze it. I might buy it, but I think I'm just going to go for starfish scaling instead if I can. Because at least I can use that to scale other things. If I lock in on salamanders, then I'm stuck with salamanders the whole time. Okay, so that on you is just beautiful. And yeah, this is going to help out these guys a lot as well. Um, yeah. <laughs> okay, we're doing this. I don't think I go for the Salamander. I, I don't think I care enough. Let's roll a bit. Or Boris is kind of cool. Don't need a Garlic. Definitely don't want a Hedgehog. But I'm not going to be buying any of these this turn. So maybe I just keep rolling and hope to roll in something that's um, worth kind of pilling. Yeah, if we find a Bedfish or a... Flamingo, that'd be much nicer. And I don't really care about buying more equipment here. You just like, buy sell stow to end on this thing. Yeah, sure, that's fine. Alright, let's cherry you up. You guys get some extra attack. Um, I need this at the front so the Deer Lord eats it. And can't be bothered with anything else. Send it. Be gone. And let's have a little look at the teams. Alright, looking good. That's a lot of red. <laughs> that should not be in there. Very much not red. Just lost to a mana hound. Yeah, I saw it. Okay. We got a win. That's good news. Um, I found a better fish. That is lovely. Okay, keep pumping this. I think I am going to combine the ladybirds, but maybe I do it next turn. 
really depends. If I find a lobster or a starfish, that's just good to have on the team. So maybe I do it now. Like these are great, but they don't scale. Like this lobster makes um the other things I buy here bigger, which makes no sense because they did all of these anyway. So never mind. <laughs> but yeah, starfish would be wonderful. Um, hmm. Let's draw once. Oh yeah, we can buy other things. Let's just combine now then. And I think I freeze a turtle. Like putting that in front of the diddle the next turn would be amazing. And I think we end with this because then we can roll and maybe buy something else bigger at some point. Doesn't really matter yet, but I like it. No, we lose. <laughs> if I had one more stat on this backline guy, would have been fine though. But we're still in an okay spot. Um, I'm I am very tempted to pick up a lobster because like, I don't need these guys. I want this as well though. <laughs> Did I just get rid of Ouroboros? Like, there's so many good things to throw in front of the dear lord. Maybe I wait. Okay, hold on. I think we do this for now. I'm not gonna bother with that. But then I need to. Yeah, hold on. <laughs> All right, let's just throw this down. I see starfish as well. And yeah, so we're going to have to start finding cell pets, which this is one. I think we maybe say goodbye to the ladybird soon. But yeah, this is this is nice. If I'm running like a a buy cell build, then being able to end on something for the dear lord is kind of nice. I might end on nothing if I don't find them. Um, yeah, like if it's just a ton of cell pets, I'd rather get the starfish triggers than the free bacon, I think. And I'm debating whether it's even worth trying to level this guy up or not. Fire Ant is red. Yeah, anything on the left side is red. Oh, double starfish. <laughs> Beautiful. Okay. Um, We're definitely running double starfish. We're not going to be feeding one to the Deer Lord, but I don't know what to get rid of now. We can maybe say goodbye to the Tsushinoko? Or the Lobster, but... I don't know, I kind of like that as well. Plus, it's summoning a big thing. Alright, let's get rid of this. Don't care about the stats on there, but... Oh, there we go. <laughs> Alright, that is beautiful. Stop. Stop buffing the random cell pets, please. Um, Actually, get rid of this. Just throw this on one of these, maybe. And then try and find more cells. Yes, that is a cell. Don't really care about buying this. That is... I'm just going to buy sell this. Let's just get the extra stats that way. Oh, I could have ended on something there. I don't care about these. You are a cell. Okay. So yeah, I could have ended on another thing for the dear lord there. I, I miscounted my money. Thankfully. Yeah, we don't lose it. Good. Stingray. That's that's probably worth it for the stats. Takes a couple of turns, but I think we do go for that. And I'm probably going to end on this guy as well, because I can put that in front of the Deer Lord, and I'm pretty sure the melon will skip over to one of the starfish, which I am also very into. Not sure when I'm going to use the chocolate, but <laughs> the happiest there, I guess. Alright. You're not replaced, right? Yeah, you're stock. Good. Uh, Yeah, I can do, like, everything this turn. I can't buy the chocolate, but I don't need to. Alright, let's make something weak. Put that down. Give... I really don't know where to put the extra attack. I'm going to throw it on this guy. Yeah, because you're going to get the shield anyway. Um, The lobster's been eating a lot of the stats, which is kind of annoying. But, yeah, I don't know. We just need to swap something else in. And by the way, Mandrake is not one of them. Neither is this guy. Guys, check the pack. It's the two left things. Oh. Wait, we okay? We're fine. Okay, it's not a win, but who cares? Just don't cost me HP. Alright. We can level the Deer Lord. <laughs> I mean, if it finds me a Cerberus or something, that could be cool. I think Red Dragon would be great. I think Cerberus would be great. And Fire Ant is amazing to scale up. But, like, I don't know whether it's worth just doing that right here, right now. The chicken's kind of cool for the Deer Lord, actually. Okay, let's just level it up. I think we're going to use the Deer Lord for a long time. And, yeah... The only thing is, I can't throw this behind... Like, I can't buy this, sell a lobster, and then still end on something. So maybe I wait on that? Like, I just buy this, and we can buy it next turn. And yeah, 
Future shot pets, permanent plus one, plus one. So I don't think it's even going to buff the Cerberus. Which is a shame, but whatever. And yeah, you're a self pet. We'll freeze that. Okay. Oh, that was so sad about replacing the flashlight. I didn't see. <laughs> yeah, I forgot. I forgot I had a toy. Honestly, I forgot I was going to get a thing from the Cuddle Toad, so I just kind of auto-picked something. Alright. So yeah, let's bring the Cerberus out. We don't need the Lobster anymore. Um. So yeah, get rid of you. Make sure we're using these. I'm just gonna... I'm probably going to end up keeping both of my Starfish, but I'm not going to prioritize like stats on both yet. I need to try and get stats on you. And we can still sell this and end on something else. And yeah, there's a load of nice stuff here. Um, we can't actually end on this, right? Hmm. Do I want? Hold on. So we get like two, two if I let the dear lords. Sorry, we get four attack if I let the dear lord eat it, or we get two, two if I sell it. But I also get more money for selling it, and it spreads out the stats more evenly instead of everything being really attack heavy. So, yeah, I'm just going to move on, I think. Cerberus? Oh, Anglerfish, maybe? Okay. Yeah, see, that's gonna get, like, problematic, maybe. This person is now dead, but yeah, if I run against someone with, like, a level 3 Fire Dragon, then I'm not going to have a lot of equipment. I maybe try stealing this, or a Starfish, like, either of those. What have you got? Another Starfish, yeah, okay. <laughs> Uh, we just, like, level it up, actually, because we're on 3 HP. Let's do it. All right. Okay, we didn't find another one. There is a tap here, though, so I could let the Dear Lord eat that, and it'll resummon another red pet, which is, like, levels, so that's kind of that's kind of nice. Maybe I go for double Cerberus. That could be fun. <laughs> I don't know. I think for now, I just try and get as many stats onto this and this and not, like, spread it out, because I may end up combining these guys. And then, yeah, I'm going to buy this... I'm going to buy this, and then you're going to turn into one of these, and then I can combine that the turn after. And hopefully that makes some sense. Another Cerberus. Okay, I may combine those then. I think it'd be pretty nice having a level 2 Cerberus, and this thing is still like default stats, so... Sure. Okay, you did live. It's beautiful, it's working! Okay. Uh, do I combine? I want to combine. Show me another one. <laughs> okay, there's also a tap here, but I, I think we just buy this, like, roll. Um, so let's, let's start putting stats everywhere again. I'm going to give one to each of you. I can buy sell this. You're also a sell. Hold on, how much money am I going to have? I can buy sell you and then end on two things. Again, I think it's worth just buy selling instead of letting the dear lord eat something. Anyway, let's just have you out. And, yeah, I'm just going to buy sell that. Nothing for the dear lord this time. Alright, that's amazing. And I don't think I want any of the rest. Okay. Let's have a look at the teams. Okay, there are... There's a lot of crisp around. <laughs> and, yeah, no alpacas, guys. Check the pack. Please, no anglerfish. Okay, the rest is good, but, yeah, there's a lot of, like, off and on cheating. Ooh, that's gonna punch through this immediately. But it still trades! Okay. Okay, I got worried. I thought I was gonna, like, stomp my team, but... <laughs> yeah, we're mostly fine. I do see Phoenix. I don't know if ending on a Phoenix is, like, a winning strategy here. I think I'd rather just find a Fire Dragon, honestly. Right? Unless I run this at the back. Like, I don't need to have this guy. Yeah, whatever. Let's just, let's just have this. Okay, so I could do that. I could end on Chicken for the Dear Lord. I don't really care. I don't know, leveling the Cerberus could be helpful. Leveling the Starfish is the most helpful, but I don't know how much time there is left in the game. We can, like, try. Cerberus, sure. I can, like, buy sell both of these. No, I can't. I don't have enough money. <laughs> okay, just, just freeze these anyway. Start a battle. Uh, love Anglerfish. And, yeah, you just don't need to eat anything. Zebra, good. Oh, that's a big team. Thank you, Cerberus. 
Okay. That is very helpful. No, we're gonna lose! <laughs> no, we don't lose, because we have a chick as well. Okay. Okay, crisp is scary. Noted. Um, yeah, we're gonna try this. Show me something interesting. A phoenix. I do see the red dragon as well, but I think we're locking in on the phoenix. I can maybe try and end on a red dragon later, but... Yeah, for now, I think we do just go for random stats. Alright, I'm gonna hold on to chocolates as well. And I still don't think I want anything... Yeah, I, I don't want the Dear Lord anymore. I just want the Starfish stats. Alright, you're great. Uh, you're amazing as well. I can maybe Snapping Turtle to change the equipment. But yeah, I think we just Stingray. That's still great stats. And... Send! Let's have another look. Yeah, almost everyone's running like a Fire thing at the moment. Whether that's Phoenix or Fire Dragon. I am seeing some red ants as well. Yeah, I kind of wish I had gone for one of those, because it'd be a lot easier to, like, have like, explosive improvements in stats that way. And this team isn't very big. They do... Yeah, they're going to have a lot of crisp, though. Okay, we're fine. <laughs> it was relatively close. Okay, Blobfish. Uh, maybe. I think I'm actually just going to buy a pill this, though, because I can level this right now, which is beautiful. So, yeah, I'm going to do that. <laughs> yeah, I I'm just going to hold on to these. And yay. I'm, like, huge. Mammoth would have been cool for the Dear Lord as well, now that I'm looking at it, but we just got to level 3 this guy. So, yeah. And Stingray or Crow. We're at 3 HP. I think I can afford to go for this guy first, even though it's not, like, immediate stats. And yeah, <laughs> I think we level that up next turn as well. Don't think I'm gonna bother with the this guy though. But yeah, I need to be careful. Like if I do end with something in front of the Dear Lord and it summons something else, then yeah, I need to make sure the flashlight isn't buffing that. Try pressing left arrow. I think I was watching one of your YouTube videos. Ooh, wait. It's still fine. Okay. At the very least, I don't think we lose. Yeah, that's a draw. I'll take that. So much stuff. So much XP. Okay. Oh. <laughs> hmm. Well, I can buy sell that if I really wanted to. I think we're going to stock up on tons of chocolate to start. And then... Yeah. So we let you get the flashlight. And then do I just like level the Cerberus or do I play some separate stuff? How much time is there left? Yeah, we, we definitely keep buy selling. So I think I could maybe like end on this because it's free and then I just level this up. So I'm going to do that. Yeah, that's amazing. Next time we sell the red dragon again. But yeah, team looking pretty nice. Definitely want as many things like at the back as possible because if they are running like a level 3 red dragon, then I need to make sure that it's not replacing good equipment. Do I have a Mario game to play today? I don't know. I do have a Switch and I play Mario Kart sometimes. And I do have a capture card, so it is potentially possible to set up. But yeah, <laughs> no plans for it today. Oh god, I need more stats. We're still fine here, I think, but... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was close, though. Keep it going. Beautiful! And I can end on a tap here, maybe? Alright. Okay, sell this. Buy sell these. I have a ton of chocolate, and I still don't know how much it matters. <laughs> There's more Cerberus! Do I even freeze the tap here? I want to roll into, like, cell pets. Just just leave it. Okay. Alright, we can get another toy, and there's a possum here. Okay, so, Witch Broom... Okay, you. I do see the Fire Dragon, but it's not that important. Come on, hurry. Hurry! <laughs> oh, okay, you can stay. Leave it. Leave everything. We don't need any of that. Okay, so baby Cerberus can stay at the back. I maybe could have thrown it to the front to sacrifice, because like, that would have been four permanent attack as opposed to one extra gold. But it looks like we're fine either way. <laughs> oh my god, dude. The pups. is infinite. How many people are left? I imagine like a little under ten maybe, but I need to check. And yeah, is it worth trying to level this guy? Why not, right? 
Okay, that's a lot of silly things. Um, hmm. Thing is, I can't buy them all this turn. I could buy one. So maybe I just like buy the banana, right? Let's say I sell this and I do grab some random other equipment. Let's just buy a banana. Oh, I'm dead. I don't know if it's actually going to do anything, but it's better than nothing, probably. Yeah, full melon team there. Most people are running an empty slot. It's just this team that's not like by selling at all, so as I can tell. They do have a very large level 3 fire ant. Oh, it's the tiny team. I say tiny team. This is going to like give them a lot of attack, but yeah. <laughs> oh god, the pups. Shredding them. Well, I can't see a way that I lose. Yeah, we're fine. Good. I'm very sorry, Sleepy Bird. Okay, so we say goodbye to Cerberus. And we keep buy selling, and these ones are great. Because these are basically just like a tier 2 pig. It's a lot better if you can make them large, but whatever. It works. Love this guy as well. Phoenix, Phoenix, Cerberus, Fire Ants. So there's a good chance I can get the Phoenix level off this, which is... Yeah, I think I'll take it. It's cheap. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> level you. Um, I could try and find another Phoenix. I don't think so. <laughs> Okay, I'm just going to feed the fire ant to this guy, I think. We can try and find more cell pets soon. Alright, that's looking fine to me. My stuff is a little bit further back now, though, so... Yeah, if they do have a red dragon, we're more likely to lose some melons here. Oh. <laughs> okay, they had two level 2 fire dragons, so it's kind of unavoidable. And... Am I okay? That's not a loss, right? No, it is a loss, because they had two... They are two phoenixes. Help. Okay. You're a biped, so you're not that helpful. I do see Blobfish, and it's like, it's something for Dear Lord. But it's not that amazing. Let me roll it. Alright, just keep keep trying to find stuff. We don't need um, chocolate anymore. Yeah. I, I can end on a fire dragon or something with it. Yes, more of this. Okay. And I may just buy the starfish, because I think having something else at the back to potentially soak up a fire dragon shot could be helpful. But I don't know, like, it's always going to die to a phoenix. So I need helpful against these teams, <laughs> which I'd rather not see at all. I'm going to roll once more. All right, yeah, just buy some this. Okay, freeze that. You're a cell pet. Freeze this in case I'm about to die. Like, having something else to end on would be nice. And I do have a lot of stats, so like I could potentially survive having extra fire everywhere. <laughs> I love that we both had an open front slot, so we were just spam summoning the pups like straight away. Yeah, okay, so I don't think I need these anymore. I may end on a mammoth, but there's still decent stats here. Let's get rid of this, we don't need that. Alright, freeze the mammoth. Let's see if we can find some other buy cells first, and we did. Um, questing beasts, I don't like Excalibur as much as I thought I did, so I think I'm just going to take Holy Grail, because we we're also, like, very top-heavy at the moment on some things. Or a little bit top-heavy, anyway. <laughs> so yeah, take the Holy Grail, in two turns we get some value there, and I'm just going to pop this. It's not, like, insane, but, you know, caps out, like, this guy, we get, like, some extra HP on here, and it's good for you and you, so. And then, yeah, I don't know if I try and swap something in, finally. Alright, we're top three. And yeah, that's that's a lot of crisp. <laughs> I don't even know what I can do to try and counter that. Like it really is just a matter of have as many stats as possible so it doesn't matter, but I don't know if I can get to the point where that's good enough. And yeah, I do lose her. Okay, we try and get some extra stats and then I do just throw in this other Phoenix, I think. We're definitely like at the end game now. Alright, this is lovely. Maybe end on stoats? Hmm. Hold on. We should gang all this out. Nah, we'll, we'll try it now. It's the questing beast. Okay, I am selling it, obviously, but we definitely skip the, the toy. Same with you. I remember now. Kind of. And also, Starfish isn't dodging my 50-50s, which is very, very sad. Alright, and that's why we roll first. I can I even buy sell you? And on another Cerberus. And I think we're done. Uh 
Yeah, I think we're done. <laughs> okay. Well, I don't know what the best positioning is anymore, but we'll just send it this way. Largest things at the front. Looks fine here, maybe. I don't know, I still have to trade both of my 50-50s into theirs. Oh, we live. Okay, <laughs> okay, we can give extra HP to this guy then. Alright, so that's plus 8 HP. So let's try and make you a little bit tankier. And we're done by selling. We're just gonna try and like level my dudes. Yes. Okay, cool. And probably give it a pair as well. Like that gets it out to the range of um doubled crisp killing it. Which could be pretty helpful. So yeah. By that, we have the squad. Um so what are we running against? Yeah, it's double level three red dragon. It's like uh, I, I can change positioning, so like these are the only ones to get crisp immediately. Yeah, I mean, I think that's fine. I need something. Mushroom Phoenix. It only makes sense if I have it, like, towards the front. And I definitely can't put anything other than this right at the front. And I'd rather just have this kind of protected. Oh. Oh, they have double. <laughs> I didn't even realize they had double Red Dragon. So, yeah, all of my stuff got changed anyway. Yeah, I'm dead here. Oh, well, I'll take that. That's top two or three. And this is a nice red team. Yeah, I'm proud of that. All right. <laughs> GG, fam. Good game. Good game, guys.